When solving reactor design problems, it's often convenient to work in terms of conversion rather than concentration. So let's define what we mean by conversion. So first, we always need to take one species in our reacting system as our basis of calculation. And it's almost always best to use the limiting reactant as this basis. So if we have some reacting system, A plus B going to C plus D, where the lowercase letters denote the stoichiometric coefficients of each species. If we take A as our basis of calculation, let's say A is our limiting reactant, then we can divide our expression through by the stoichiometric coefficient of A to get everything on a per mole of A basis. So this looks something like this. So now we can ask the question, can we quantify how far this reaction proceeds uh, towards the right? So the conversion is a useful way of doing this. And so it's defined as conversion of A is equal to the moles of A reacted divided by the moles of A fed. So this is usually denoted x or x of a. Uh, so if the subscript is left off, do remember that there is a basis of our one species as the basis of this calculation. So we often call this uh, parameter the fractional conversion since its value ranges between zero and one if we have a totally irreversible reaction. And if we have a reversible one, the maximum uh, conversion is going to be less than one dictated by the thermodynamic equilibrium. So let's see how we can write our mole balances for our ideal reactor, reactors as a function of conversion. And we'll start with our batch stirred tank reactor. So if we write the general mole balance for some species A, it looks something like this. And so if we have a closed system in our batch stirred tank reactor, we're not gonna have any flow terms for A coming into or out of the reactor. And so now we can write the number of moles of A, Na, as a function of conversion. So let's do this first in words. So we can say that the moles of A at any time t in the reactor is equal to the moles of A fed to the reactor at time equals zero minus the moles of A reacted. So because there are no flow terms, uh, the number of moles we have of A left is equal to how many we started with how many minus how many have been consumed by reaction. So I'm just going to break down this last term in our equation a little bit. To our right-hand side, we can write as the number of moles of A fed. And then I'm gonna say that the moles of A reacted is equal to the moles of A fed times the moles of A reacted divided by the moles of A fed. And so we can identify this last term, the moles of A reacted divided by the moles of A fed as the definition of our conversion of A. Okay, so now we can write this uh, expression in terms of uh, variables that appear in our mole balance. So the moles of A at any time T is just Na. The moles of A fed is Na naught. So how much we put into our reactor at time equals zero. And then now we have the moles of A fed and A naught times the conversion or fractional conversion of A. Okay, so let's take a derivative of this expression with respect to time. So we can write that DNA DT is equal to the time derivative of our right-hand side, so Na0 is a constant, so that's just zero. And then we have 
na naught times dx dt. So we can substitute this into our mole balance. So again, our mole balance just said that the accumulation of A with respect to time is equal to the rate of formation of A. So if our system's spatially uniform, well mixed, uh, we can write the generation term as just the product of the rate of reaction and the reactor volume. So then our mole balance for our batch stirred tank reactor becomes minus Na naught dx dt. So the accumulation is equal to the rate of formation of A times the volume. So this is our um, mole balance for our batch stirred tank reactor in terms of conversion. So we can perform a similar treatment for our flow systems. So we can say that the rate of A added to the reactor minus the rate at which A is consumed by reaction is equal to the rate of A leaving the reactor. And this assumes we have a reactor operating in steady state, so we have no accumulation of uh, A with time within the reactor volume. Okay, so the first term here, in terms of variables that are, uh, appear in our uh, mole balance, is just the inlet molar flow rate of A, so Fa0. Our rate of consumption by reaction, we can write as how many moles of A we feed per time, times the conversion, which is how many moles of A react per mole of A fed. So this term we can write as Fa0 times X, and the rate of A leaving the reactor, it's just the outlet molar flow rate, Fa. Okay, so now we can write our molar flow rate of A in terms of the inlet molar flow rate and the conversion. Okay, so this is an expression that now we can put into our mole balances for the flow reactors, the CSTR and the plug flow reactor to get mole balances all in terms of conversion. Okay, so let's look at this first for the CSTR. So the, for the CSTR, our mole balance on A for a well-mixed system that's spatially uniform looks like this. And so if we want, we can solve this, for example, explicitly for the reactor volume and inserting our expression for um, molar flow rate as a function of conversion, our reactor volume would be equal to uh, our inlet molar flow rate of A times the conversion divided by the rate of reaction. So one note here is that the um, rate of consumption of A minus RA here is uh, evaluated at the conditions inside the reactor, which are equal to those of the reactor outlet. So just make sure that you are not using the concentrations of the reactor inlet uh, to solve for the rate of consumption of A. Okay, so if we have a plug flow reactor, our mole balance is this differential equation so the change in um, molar flow rate of A with respect to volume is equal to the rate of formation of A. So again, we can use this expression for the molar flow rate in terms of conversion and insert that into our uh, PFR mole balance. And so if we do, we get an expression that looks like this. So now we have the derivative of conversion with respect to volume is equal to the rate of consumption of A. So this will be our starting equation for uh, solving plug flow reactor problems when we want to use conversion rather than concentration.